uh, there was a clip that came out from this past season. And I know we're talking about <laughs> the philanthropical side, of course. the do good side. Right. I would like to talk about the competitive drive a little bit. This is when this human really got brought into our radar, I think. And now he's a guard. He's a two-time Super Bowl champion. And obviously we have in the trenches and we respect offensive linemen, I think, yeah. more yeah. than a lot of different programs Big out there. Time. But whenever we really learned of this man was when this happened after a massive win against the Tennessee Titans this season. Yeah. Right up yours, Tennessee. <laughs> Fuck you. It's Fuck awesome. you. <laughs> Give a fist bump on the way out with the helmet. What is that every game or Tennessee in particular have a little bit more heat for you? Man, I mean, uh, the exchange right before that, well, I got punched right in the neck by Jeff Simmons. So hey, they, they didn't catch in. the... <laughs> They didn't catch the – I was yelling at the Titans for a while there, but then took a break, <laughs> then came back and freaked out a little bit. Uh, my dad called me like five minutes later. You tweeted it. Yes. And he's like, hey, dude, you're going viral, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I, what, I'm I like, remember, for what? I don't remember my exact words. Did I say it was the most awesome thing of all yeah, time? Yeah, you did. I really appreciate that, too. Sold a lot of hats because of that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. nice. AJ, as it was happening, you were like, yes. That seemed like it was out of a fucking movie, AJ. It's real because you could tell, like, yeah, like there is like there's a feeling you can get it when you like. I think he really showed us, hey, you get pretty juiced if you go to somebody's place, you beat them. Obviously, I didn't know about getting punched in the neck and that whole situation, but man, what a what a way to walk off the field. Hopefully, that kid's hands are right. You blast with your helmet too. How long have you been in Cincy? One year. Okay, so you got two more. Two more. You signed a three-year deal. Congratulations. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Keep it going. But like, I think a lot of people that don't love the NFL as much as college football. They think NFLers don't care, right? They're like, oh, they're just playing for the money. They're playing for the money. Right there, I think we saw genuine emotion, which is why I thought it was awesome, especially to a brand new team your first year there. And you look like a human that was like, yeah, actually, you weren't a robot. Fuck mm -hmm. you, fuck you. Up yours, you said at one point. <laughs> yeah, that's like straight out of the 50s. Yes, it was a move. <laughs> Where's that even come from? Is that I, I don't normal know where shit that came talk from. for you? Or are you normal fuck you guy? Whenever I'm you start pretty talking silent, shit? man, until it was like, you know, I, I put all my uh, – energy into making the block you know i'm not as there's a, some physical freaks in this league <laughs> and i need to be able to be at my best i try not to let my emotions get the best of me i was a tad bit embarrassed after that embarrassed i just was i was i was going viral it's a it's a weird moment when you're like that i've never that's never i've never had that experience before and then it ended up the reception from cincy was incredible loved it. I, loved he's it. a glass eater i fucking yeah. loved it too it's amazing I, I i'm so grateful to cincinnati it's yeah. uh, it's I, I feel like where i'm always supposed to be where i was always supposed to play ball well you got to understand the year before you got here this my buddy joe had got hidden at least a hundred times yeah uh, so Excellent. it was like this was a great feeling for the city, man. Going Got down dope. there and, mm -hmm. and smashing them. I, I'm, I remember when you tweeted it, but the city was going crazy at that time. I don't think Cincinnati and the state, I say the state of Ohio, because the other team up there is not that good. But like what? this road that no, we've been same. on the last two years have been crazy. Okay, so let's talk about that. You've obviously won two Super Bowls uh, with New England. You Hell get yeah. drafted up there to play football out of Illinois. You go to Miami, you go back to New England. Now you're at Cincy. Team is great. I think we all agree with that. Joe Burrow, the next Tom Brady is what people are calling. I guess you would have a much better read on that than everybody else. But do you sense like something special in Cincy? Because we all obviously just assume at some point Joe Burrow is going to win a Super Bowl. Cincy's going to have a Super Bowl, which is kind of an understood thing, but the AFC is fucking stacked right now, and I think everybody understands that. What is it in there that you feel, and is that the same feeling that I should have? Yes. Joey B's a killer, and we are going to win one. Um, it's all I can think about, Pat, really. They've never won one in Cincinnati, so oh, well, we want to be the guys to do it, and uh, Joey B, man, I mean, he's he's the guy to do it, and it's uh, it's fun coming to work every day with him. I've been very spoiled with quarterback play in my career. <laughs> Fed Brady, Fitz, uh, and, and Joey B. How was Brady? A robot? Human? No. Brady was awesome. Dude, he sold that chocolate. Remember that video we saw? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. He was selling his chocolate. It was like, I am not from planet Earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, like, the TB12 stuff, it's like, that is not what a real human... Real human can't just eat avocado ice cream every single day. Then he seen him play football for however long he played football and how great he was. It's easy to think, like, that is a robot, that is an alien, that is not a human. But, like, Vinatieri, the story I hear, and then the people that are, like, boys with him are like, hey, he's actually a great dude to hang out with, too. I assume great. he took care of the offensive line. Great what was your dude. interactions uh, with him? 
unbelievable. Great, always great to my family. Knew our names, knew everyone. Um, and he did give me like a five second cameo in eighty for Brady. So, whoa, hell yeah! Not not acting. It was a rookie year on the sideline. I'm 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 screaming. Let's fucking go on the sideline. Oh, you're swearing? It seems like every time you get on yeah. something, it's saying, oh, we, you're a big fan of Yeah. You. We love the way you operate. Go ahead, Connor. Yeah, Ted, I mean, I don't want to nitpick here, but you just said you played, you know, <laughs> in front of some great quarterbacks. You didn't throw in Mac Jones. So you hate Mac Jones? Is that what no, you just No, no, not there? at all. What is that? Don't start that nitpick. I love Mac Jones. Oh. I put down three top tier quarterbacks. And, I, you know, Fitz, I think, is one of the all time greatest teammates greatest people i've ever been around yeah. so that's why i threw him in there with with brady okay and joey, b. joey b every day you said he's just a cool guy killer everything like that is he the first one in like, like all the cliche shit or is he kind of operating his own kind of way he, him he, and tom very similar or no I, joey b's his own guy i think it's weird because tom was you know in his 40s and joey's 26 so it's a little bit more relatable um but you know he's no, he's not a cliche. He's he's running his own show, and he runs our show too, and it's a lot of fun. And him and Zach have uh, you know created a great culture, especially on offense. His uh, his look at these yeah. uh, unbelievable hair. He always looks cool. Always yeah. perfect. Yeah, he's got that cool. curl. Yeah. Man. Yep. So cool. Perfectly sitting there on the forehead. So cool. And he's an Ohio fuck. Yeah. yeah. And he's, it seems like a perfect match. It honestly does. Sucks for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Tony, yeah, you got a question for Ted? They'll be fine. They've always been fine. Uh, yeah, I do. Well, it hasn't always been. So, what do you guys burn. have? Um, four, I believe. First year starters, not first year starters, but first year starters with Cincinnati last year. Like, how long does that take for, even though you guys have been in the league for it, now you have another new starter potentially at left tackle this year? How long does that take for everyone to gel together? I think O line more than other positions, just because O line is a repetition and continuity position, and you got to learn body and spatial awareness with the guy around mm -hmm. you but you know i'm i'm psyched about orlando coming and we got a guy we got a giant coming in that left tackle mm -hmm. and hey he's a dog dude. he is Beast. and uh a winner as well just come fresh off a of super bowl so um to my chagrin to our chagrin i didn't yeah. didn't want the chiefs to win but did you not did i oh. did not i did not hmm why would no. we want the chiefs to win well like well, then it's at least like yeah we lost our, the super bowl the, our side yeah. is the no, I no, no, I'm saying, yeah, just in general. I wanted to be the winners. I wasn't. <laughs> Hell uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, just in you're general. Mad at just whoever. In general. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was I was rooting for the Chiefs. Joe Tooney was my four year uh, roommate in New Hell England. Yeah. Hell yeah, Joe, what a dog he Tom is. Tunley's a beast. Uh, <laughs> whenever you think about Cincinnati in the offseason and everything like that, what do you guys think you need to work on to get to the next stage? Because obviously you got Josh Allen. Hey. Oh. He's a fucking guy. Good, mm -hmm. yeah. We just talked about Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Odell Beckham Jr. just joined the Baltimore Ravens uh, over there in the AFC North. A Rod. A Aaron Rodgers is potentially coming to the AFC with yeah, the Jets. What do you think it is? And you guys, you said you think about it every day. Is it an obsession over there? I assume because you guys are so close. You're in there every time you talk about it. It's like, oh, the Bengals could win a Super Bowl. Yes, and that hasn't been the case for a long time. So, what is the thought every day in there? Thought every day, especially from an O line perspective. I feel like uh, you know the last two years, if we can finish a little bit better we're in the big dance so that is what i think about when i'm lifting in my oh my yeah gym and hell yeah getting hell big yeah. you know if we can finish a little bit better we have a you know we have an insane amount of talent all the way around and we need to we need to come through and and work our hardest to you know be the guys you your father's father was a football champion your father was a football champion mm -hmm. you're a football champion so you guys just come out of the womb in a pass set or what what yeah. have you always been just offensive line through through and through and is that? Do you think you have the greatest form of all time? Is that why you are who you are? I think it's more of, yeah, I mean, I do believe that I was born to do this. I'm very grateful for the opportunities I've had, though. Uh, it's been, Hell yeah. It's been a road mm -hmm. to get here. Um, but it's been interior O-line or D-line. Alex Karras is in the Hall of Fame at interior D-line. Hell yeah. Beast. Yeah. Iowa legend. 60s. Wow. 60s had so you guys are in the trenches. You in guys the tre no one's ever moved outside the <laughs> interior three. And maybe Lou in 47 was a tackle, but... Yeah. 47. <laughs> Lou was a dog Jeez. out there. Yes. <laughs> Lou had good feet. Big son of a bitch. <laughs> do you do? Uh, do you train with Jake Glazer in the off season? Do you uh, mix martial arts or what do you? Uh, any of those? I have things? a heavy bag in my gym. Oh yeah. yeah. You doing question mark kicks I'm on it? The, I'm not a big big kicker, but you know I'm working working hand speed. Were you a wrestler? I was not. I was at the gain weight, Pat. I went to one wrestling practice. I was like, holy shit. I got to I got to gain weight. I can't do this. <laughs> so oh because you had to so. My dad took me aside in eighth grade and was like, you know, you're kind of skinny, but you're super slow, Ted. <laughs> <laughs>
And you need to you need to put on weight. I actually gained a hundred pounds in one year. Gee. Damn. What'd you do? Just I drank a gallon of milk before school Jeez. every day for a what? whole year. So what? Did, it's verified. You can verify it. It's <laughs> every, day. Day. every day. Every single day. Is that good for you? I know it's horrible. I, I, my body rejects milk. <laughs> what year was it? Year was it? Uh, freshman to sophomore year of high school. Did you grow as well? Or did that... Yeah, I grew like four inches and gained a hundred pounds. That's it's milk, unbelievable. Because oh. the milk every single morning. I probably hit a puberty too. <laughs> <laughs> you ever switch it up between white and chocolate or no two percent two percent give me the whole give Beast. me the thick stuff maybe yeah on a, on a day i was feeling weak skim but <laughs> <laughs> still a gallon aj go ahead pal <laughs> yeah ted you mentioned now you feel like since he is where you you feel like you always should have been or you should you love it there what how early did you know that and why do you why do you feel that way well not that i always should have been i'm i was had great times in new england and miami too but um when Cincinnati called, uh, you know, I signed right away. It didn't take much convincing. My family lives in Indy. I didn't even realize the weight of having my family so far away in my career. Um, and then just the guys, the coaching staff, all the way to the top. The organization is fun to, fun to be there. I'm super excited. We start next Monday, and uh, the guys are great, and it's a talented team. And the town is, is super fun. Man. It is it's, a good town. It's an unbelievable town. It's like Indy. But a little bit more aesthetic, just because of the hills. Yeah, yeah, I got good mm. views. Yeah, a couple good views. Also, that casino down there, good time. And there's <laughs> no smoking true. in there too. It, it makes it a little bit better for me. It, yeah, I, I mean, not that I'm not a kind of no a smoking guy, but you, so you just don't smell like casino. Guys. Yeah, hey, listen, I'm yeah. trying to have a good time. Why are you trying yeah. to put me to bed with all these thick air? <laughs> it's 2023. Let's go ahead and get rid of that whole thing. Whenever you go to Cincy and you realize they don't have an indoor practice facility, <laughs> is that something that you think about going in there, or is that a part of like? your demands were you the reason why they mm -hmm. put the uh the bubble up over the practice facility out there by the highway i think it was probably more joe but <laughs> uh, <laughs> but i did enjoy the bubble late season that's a nice little bubble they put up too it is I, we're walking to practice it's cool you take or no we actually bust a few times we bust Whoa. Whoa. city Whoa. city Whoa. bus to practice gritty cincinnati winter hell yeah, yeah. since he's all in pack has a question for you Ted. <clears throat> So you had a chance to be with Bill Belichick. Now you with Zach Taylor, which is a uh, very different of uh, mm -hmm. what's styles. The yeah, styles, age, different. Resume. Um, what uh, did you take? Appearances, uh, yeah. everything, everything. Yeah. personality, uh, children, yeah. uh, way, ways of living, uh, clothes, yeah, uh, yachting abilities, right? Yeah, yeah. naval just, history, knowledge. What? Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. Those two are vastly different. Um, what did you get from Bill from Zach? <laughs> what's the difference between playing for Bill and playing for uh, Zach Taylor right now? Well, I thought it was so cool playing up in New England, just being like the most hardcore team. We practice hardcore, and then we go out and win. Hell yeah. And it was like, you know, gritty. My, I what? remember like rookie year, Hell my yeah. lip split because it was so cold, and it just didn't shut until after the Super Bowl. It was just all playoffs, just bloody lipping. What? And, <laughs> and, but I thought that was great. Dog. And then you win the Super Bowl, and it was awesome. Like, we won two, and, and then Zach Taylor, it's such a different style. of and But you still win games, and you still are tough. And But he's created a great culture there. And, you know, obviously it starts with the quarterback, but, you know, he's a, a great offensive mind. And this is the first time actually ever in my career that I've played for an offensive head coach, which is refreshing as a center. Yeah, uh, yeah, give Sound you like some a, more yeah. ideas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a little bit of help, maybe a little bit of that. Just a little going. bias going our way this time. Yeah, be yeah. nice. Yeah, uh -huh. one practice. Yeah. We get a favor. Uh, was the narrative for you guys in the playoffs, like, were you guys actually genuinely pissed about that neutral site conversation and them selling tickets and, you know, all of that? When, and then you guys just walked into Buffalo and just kicked the shit out of them? Yes, we were upset about that. I, you know, obviously with that whole situation, I was just glad DeMar was healthy. Yeah. But mm -hmm. then when you That's look at scary, it. That's scary, wasn't that it? Was mm -hmm. man, that was the most electric I've ever seen a stadium and then complete silence. And then there was like a weird noise came off, like an alarm. And no one said anything. One of our running backs looked at me. He was like, hey, what was that, man? I go, I didn't say anything to him. And he goes, dude, what was that? I was like, I don't know, bro. I don't know what it <laughs> Super was. Super eerie, huh? Yeah. Super eerie. It, there, it was like crazy. That was serious. Complete silence. 70,000 people silent. What a great job by the first responders. Too. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah crushed. I thought trainer crushed it. the name. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know the status of him now, but as far as the competitive standpoint, um, I think the more we were, we weren't worried about the Buffalo as much as we were about the division being decided by a coin flip. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did not like that. 
Did not like that. But honestly, yeah, I mean, if we would have let the Ravens beat us twice, I mean, that's what we get. But we didn't let it happen. Well, that was kind of what everybody that was against you guys yeah. getting upset about yeah. was easily saying, you know. But I think in the locker room, it is a little bit different. Like, hey, we've worked a hard mm – -hmm. this has been a long season yeah. for a coin flip to decide this kind of – but those were – the, uh, that game just went back to that game. Prime time, dude. Mm -hmm. And then they came back on TV. We see, mm -hmm. like you guys that, had that to was, see that before we did. I, I guess. didn't even. I didn't really know. I thought he got knocked out. I was right there and and you know said a quick prayer and then they shuffled everyone off and I didn't realize it was such an emergency till I saw the the CPR. Going That's scary. On. It yeah. was uh, unbelievable, really. And yeah. That's some heavy stuff. You guys bounce back, obviously, beat the Ravens, do your thing. Mm -hmm. You guys are a football team that I think nobody wants to see, including the Pittsburgh Steelers. Tony Dix has a question for you. Uh, T. Higgins was talking about that you guys uh, a big ping pong locker room. The big boys get involved yeah. in that, or you guys have your own games? Oh, yeah, I'm O-line champion. Let's oh, go. Yeah. oh, yeah, you are. Uh, we knew that, by the way. <laughs> we yeah. knew that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I get involved. Um, I would say, yeah, uh, Mitch Wilcox, Trent Taylor, Joey B. There's a, there's a pretty Where's good Where's the O-lineman ranking a ping pong player? Man, I don't think I've – I don't think I've busted the top ten yet. Busted. Oh, line. Oh, that's no. bad luck for the offensive lineman. Yeah, that's we got. Luck. I got. I got to run it more. You know, they have. I, I, their days are a little bit less stressful. O line's the most stressful football day. I would say every day. It's not. It's not really. I don't feel like ping pong <laughs> on, on a Wednesday, eleven thirty a.m. when people are really playing. You know? <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Sure. Like, yeah, <laughs> like my position. I got time. Like if every that day. locker room had every day. If ping pong was the sport of locker room, I'm in there. I'm putting in hard hours. I'm hours. <laughs> hours I'm putting in work. Oh, yeah. And then you're waltzing out of that meeting, miserable. <laughs> Fucking miserable. Tired, miserable. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're a dipper or not. Normally, offensive linemen have a half a tin in Three there. months off, Pat. Three months off. Hey. Congratulations. Let's go. Training camp's right around the corner. Yeah, I, feel, I, I feel like I've just replaced it with uh, all the different brands of um, fake tobacco now. Oh, Zen? Yeah, yeah Zen. Oh, so oh, you're, you're, you're – Yeah, you're off tobacco. Yeah, I'm off Grizzly. I, I did Grizzly for, for – 16 years. Okay, hey, you're right. Yeah. That's yeah. not yeah. easy. Not easy. Right? Winter not green. Easy. We started when you were 10. AJ, that's uh, not easy. Uh, I was, I was winter green, and then once I got into the league, I switched to pouches. All right, yeah. well, congrats Smart. on stopping. And getting yeah, green like, bear pouch. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so you would come in with a whole tin of grizzly right out of that miserable meeting, and I would just hit a ball and be like, hey, you want to play some ping pong? Got like 20 minutes before your next thing? And you, yeah, I guess we'll do that. I'd been warming up for two hours. <laughs> you oh, know yeah. what I mean? Right in the middle of your day. We can go, though. Yeah, yeah got, exactly. Yeah. That You have to say yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, in front of the whole crew, have to. <laughs> and then I'm just fucking, you're you're cooked. Absolutely mm -hmm. cooked. Spinning mm -hmm. me. And then you got to go to practice, and during practice, I'm still doing nothing. You're doing your thing. Hey, you're practicing much better than ping pong early. Like, it's a whole, you're right. Offensive linemen don't get as much time with the locker room games. And when they do get to play them, never in a good state of mind. Always normally miserable <laughs> throughout it at all. So that's a tough judgment. I'm happy you're the guy, though. Top 10. Not even being in there. It's a bad look for the whole offensive line group. Alex Cap is going to be pissed that I said that. He's he, yeah. he's a player. Oh, he's in there, but he, I beat him plenty. I like that. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like you guys got a great locker room. Yeah. I hope the world gets to experience it. How can we buy some of these hats and support the cause, the amazing things that you're doing? Thank you so much. This TheCincyHat.com and TheIndyHat.com. 100% of the proceeds go to the Village of Marici. Hey, good hats. Let's yeah. go. Boys got them on their head right now. Hell yeah. We got polos, too. We got a bunch of gear coming out, a bunch of season two Cincy stuff. Um, so your company is called Cincy? It's called the Cincy Hat Project. Yeah. It's not even a company. This is just all 100% charity. Good, yeah, good product. That pole is sick. Thank you, yeah, Donald unreal. Ross. I'll plug them there. Uh, Donald Ross and Imperial Hats. Hey, good people <laughs> doing oh, yeah. business. Oh, yeah. Good gods. The CincyHat.com, the IndyHat.com. Help Ted help people out. You're an incredible football player, and I think you're a legendary human, if mm -hmm. I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you'll come on the show again. Anytime, Pat. I, I mean, I'm in Indy all the time, so that'd be awesome. Hey, go coach those kids up. What are you going to say today? Hey, let's have good technique. I, let's uh, get off on the ball. I think I might show a little emotion. I'm fired up now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm yours. I, was, I, uh, <laughs> I was getting a little sleepy after lunch, but after being on stage here, I'm ready to go. Well, you should do the up yours, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I should. Foxy, can we run that one more time? <laughs> You said you were embarrassed by this. This is maybe the greatest I wasn't video. I was embarrassed about being viral. Oh, okay, yeah. about all the attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah Offensive hey. lineman. Yeah. Sure. Yep. But it's with a C on the chest. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fuck this. <laughs> yeah. Fuck <laughs> real. Right up, George Tennessee. Fuck 
you. Whole state. Fuck you. <laughs> Whole state. I'm so scared. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to Nashville, so I told my family uh -oh. they shouldn't come. Yeah. <laughs> I like everything case. about that. The whole state of Tennessee. You made eye contact with somebody there, too. I did. Yeah. I, I remember, I'll remember him to my dying day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ted Kerr. Yeah.